This is Black Ice, also known as Campaign for North Africa, a whole format notorious for being the absolute hardest mess, because it just complicates things and simulates the experience of being at war perfectly. Nobody knows what's going on, nobody knows what you need to do next, and you have to manage everything. And when I say that this mod requires you to manage everything, I mean it. You have to manage rations as well as energy and this and this. So we're just gonna go into this and you even have to load the UI because apparently that's too much for the game to handle, understandably so. There's one thing that I actually like, you have dedicated research slots. For example, you have a navy research slot that can only do navy and then you have a few general purpose ones. Italy hasn't finished their World War One doctrines, which fair enough. Uh, we have the basic doctrines and then we have defensive doctrines and then we also have to manage um, special forces, asymmetric warfare and assault operations and command and regiment doctrines and operational support and we have roto 56 tech trees <laughs> i want to click my concentrated industry and be done with this i don't want to i don't want to think about anything else you know this is too much probably shouldn't use some of my mods that i do have here why is the us green this somehow makes it funnier to me just seeing the scuffed zero percent of his face do we also have focus trees? Uh, just a slight mess. Probably the same person that made the Bulgarian focus tree made these focus trees. Let's first take a look. Do we have research, re research, research, yes. Learn from the Ethiopian war, gain one research slot. Ooh. I'm not sure if they've changed anything about Navy. I, you know, like they have changed something about Navy at least, but uh, not about, you know, Navy combat, so. Um, I'm just gonna dev stack, I guess. I do know a decent bit about Navy in the base game, but I also have 50 different infantry divisions. And I guess we're gonna build Sith factories. I have no idea. Okay, research. Mechanical computing, I know about that one. That one is familiar. Because I've already seen what production looks like, I'm not gonna pick concentrated. <laughs> I'm gonna be switching production every two seconds, I can already tell you that much. I have no idea which artillery piece is best, so I am just gonna... I'm just gonna ignore anti-tank, I'm just gonna go for medium artillery and hope this works. And if it doesn't, then you can laugh at me in the comments. Why the fuck are there different transport planes? What do you need different transport planes for? What in the fuck are you doing? What is this? Why? You're just making things complicated for the sake of, sake of making things complicated. The war against Ethiopia is not something that Hoi 4 made up. So we also have to worry a little bit about this one here. This is part of the base game of real life. And you can also see our army is much smaller. Which is more fun, more micromanagement, yay. Now we could wait just a smidge uh, to get them planning bonuses and all that but that just means that the ethiopians are gonna entrench i am just gonna say we are gonna go i'm not even gonna attempt trying to find out what's going on here oh that's right that's the different xp levels foreign assets <laughs> why is that window locked you can't move the window but you can't move it out of this box i don't want to look at this i don't want to look at this i don't want to look at this let's first take a look at everything else Heavy trucks, not supply. No, it's just it's just heavy trucks. I wonder what we need for this. How do I create divisions? Ah, okay, okay, I can, I can create divisions. I want green back. Mountain warfare equipment, bro. I'm gonna need a spreadsheet to know which things I need to produce before I can. All right, so we need support equipment. We need recon equipment. We need, I guess, light vehicles. We need. Mountain warfare equipment. We need field uniforms. We need a little bit of infantry equipment. Garrison equipment. Probably a lot because of Ethiopia in a minute. We need also infantry guns, which apparently is different from infantry equipment, even though infantry equipment is a gun. And then we need a bunch of horses. And then we need AA. Wow, how fun. Okay, cool. Don't need the chassis here. I don't fucking know what you are for. I don't know what you are for. Mortars? Don't tell me I have to build fucking shells. They were not in stockpiles. Now I have to learn what the fuck this means. That is steel. Why is there chromium? 
That's not alloying metals, that's chromium. And then we are lacking iron, but I have a heart full of it. Yeah, there's sliders here. This is Vicky one. I thought we I thought we were already past this. What, what does this mean? We can mobilize now for less PP. Fuck those policies again. Why do you have draft and everything? I suppose in peacetime you should switch to reserve army. In that case, I don't really like general mobilization, so there's no need right now. Instead, I will forget about it and um, I won't have any division attack. I should have clicked that button. <laughs> Thank you, mod developer. I guess we're gonna have to play like this then. Okay, these guys are gonna break through here. Just a little bit of microing in the Ethiopian war, as you do as Italy. Oh god, we're running out of fuel. So we have to win quickly, because right now we don't have any fuel production. Oh, there we go. That was quick. All right, I'm just gonna annex it, uh, Ethiopia. And ooh, what the fuck just happened here? What is this? Why is this here? <laughs> oh, we can stockpile stuff now. And I have no idea if I'm allowed to train my units, but I guess I'm just gonna try it. Although do I really want to train my units, considering I will probably just shoot everyone to properly manage the army. Because this is just scary right now. Ah, whatever. I want army XP. Let's do it. What? The total cost for the campaign in Africa has been estimated to 40 billion. Liras. The average monthly paycheck was 300. The next generations will pay. As they always do. <laughs> the trains run on time, if only. <laughs> That's funny. I just pressed escape. Where did that pop-up go? I guess Italy is gonna explode in two years. Who knows what's gonna happen. The pop-ups in this game are already way too much. This joke was brought to you right on time by Deutsche Bahn. I can at least make use of one knowledge. We have 25 combat width, or I suppose 75. I guess I can use that later when I design some divisions. Although I have no idea what divisions are in this game. Maybe 30 Orc really is useless. Why are there six different pieces of artillery? What have you done to my beautiful hearts of iron? Okay, um, I guess we're just gonna try this for offensive divisions and then we can make another one with, which is mostly just infantry. That's also just unnecessarily complicating the thing. Why do we have cavalry equipment twice? I think I'm slowly just cleaning everything up here. It's just a management sim, you know? Also, that's not how focus tree lines work. But sure, I guess I need this focus over here for this one. What do we need for the other one? Machine tools? Improved machine tools for this one. Just have to find it. And we can send three volunteers although looking at the strength of those divisions it's not gonna make a big difference all right let's just dismiss another stack here we have green i just had to dismiss my entire army and suddenly we have green stockpiles wait now i can't i first should have sent the divisions why do people say i should play this mod this is miserable. I'd rather play fucking Kaiserreich. And I don't like Kaiserreich. Honestly, I really like the stockpiles the way they're looking right now. You know, we're, we're missing a little bit, but everything is fine. Just don't look down here. Just imagine we actually have an army. We were allowed to send three earlier. I am just gonna take two, I guess. That way we can do something here. I have no idea how the Spanish Civil War changes. It's probably much more fun considering we are in black ice. Oh wait, uh, did I? I didn't send air volunteers. I'm just gonna use one of those historical ship designs from up here. I have no idea whether they're good, but at least I won't have to bother with figuring out what the fuck they've done to my beautiful navy system. I guess we're just gonna... We can only assign three dockyards on this. Okay, I am gonna start importing some rations though. Uh, let's take the Soviets, they never have ration problems. There's at least no Spanish Civil War bullshit here. I guess China's at least a little bit more historical. Or oh, hysterical. <laughs> what the fuck is this Photoshop? This looks like I did this. All right, I guess we're gonna drain the swamp next. Sorry, Shrek. Low supply terrain, night country. I didn't send my mountaineers. They're here, fuck. I thought I sent my mountaineers over here. That makes sense why we can't push for anything. Okay, uh, this time let's send actually the ones that I wanted to send. Can we send more? Ooh, no. Nice, we can send three. I guess the centrally planned economy is pretty good for preparing for war. 
So I'm gonna get that one now and completely forget about it. That's so weird that this one, it adds one combat width, but it doesn't. It adds 1.5. Again, no idea how good or bad this is. Probably very bad because we don't have that much um, artillery or uniforms or anything. <laughs> I'm just playing a management sim rather than Hots of Ion at this point. Okay, we... We just legitimately cannot push with those mountaineers. I guess we're also missing a bunch of doctrines and all that. Bro, I, I don't know how you're supposed to do anything in Spain. You probably just need tanks. Oh my god. Okay, I, I will admit it is starting to get a little bit of fun. Because you you have like this whole, oh, there's 50 different things I need to manage. There's a certain optimization itch that gets scratched here. Mm, I guess we can get the axes already. Although we can also do it later because I really want the five stiff factories here. I'm not sure why we get them just because Hitler visits us, but I'll take it. <laughs> Available as air chief. My favorite air chief. The worst part about this whole thing is we could be going into World War II and immediately getting rushed down by France. Because I have no idea how many units I'm supposed to have, or just anything really. All right, fuck the Spanish Civil War, I'm gonna leave. This micromanagement, man, I can't, I just can't. Bro! Four researches popped up and a focus. Yes. Ah. Chill just a bit, please. Who are you, Mr. Drip Lord? There's no shot I'm gonna hold against Egypt at this rate. Plus, we don't have any oil. As soon as the war starts, we're just gonna... This whole thing is just gonna break. Okay, actually, we only need to hold this front. We need to hold this front down here. We need to hold this front and... Oh god, I'll have to do something about the navy. Just gonna send this guy around here to secure our borders. Honestly, this is probably one of the first times that I'm actually gonna lose in Hearts of Iron. Because this is not Hearts of Iron 4, this is Black Ice. This has nothing to do with Hearts of Iron, apart from using the same game to start. I'm not sure we should upgrade here. 1.6 soft attack, 2.1. That's actually quite a bump. But I'm still gonna use the crappy gun, because steel is hard to come by. Ah, we still need to defend Sardinia. I almost forgot the... The League of Nations has ended. Finally. It only took 34% world tension. Oh god. Considering Poland was just obliterated and Finland is getting obliterated, that seems a bit low. There's a fuel silo is pretty cool. But the supply hub in Libya in El Aguila. What am I supposed to do with a supply hub down here? That's useless. <laughs> Production efficiency growth 25%. Yo. I am a bit worried though. Why is Germany not doing anything? Solution of Danzig. They should have done this one. They should have reassert Western claims and Weserübung ready. I'm not doing anything though. Uh, we can just justify on the French or the Belgians to get into the war, but that doesn't feel right. And I guess I can wait until 1940, but that's also not right. All right, I'm gonna swap to the better gun because we are almost... Stockpiles are looking very nice, which is making me even more worried. Please do something, Hitler. I can't believe I'm saying this, but please do something, Hitler. I would like to make an announcement to the Bundeskriminalamt. The previous clip was just a joke. You don't need to send a Sonder Einsatzkommand. There we go. Weserübung is kicking off. I still feel like that took you way too long. Okay, we can start general mobilization, which I will. Yes, I really want that. And then we can also get some war econ going. Yeah, let's do victories in Spain, and then after that we can do our focuses to join the Axis. Actually, I suppose. No, I'm not gonna do any focus here. I'm gonna bank the uh, time and then we can immediately finish with one focus because I really wanna get into this war as soon as we can. There we go. Join the Axis completed. And then we can also start a kerfuffle with Hugo. We can learn from the Wehrmacht. Uh, or we can go into North Africa. I think I'm first gonna focus on the uh, North holding France and then after that we can worry about Hugo. So let's go with learning from the Wehrmacht and then hello Germany are you down to 
Okay, I guess we are first going to claims on Yugoslavia. That's an interesting mix of a template. <laughs> That's even better. Uh, just pick one of everything. <laughs> We're gonna go to war in a minute. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Once we go to war, this is gonna be such a mess to manage. I've been pushing it away, this fort, but it's not gonna be fun. Call to arms. Against nice against the allies. Okay, let's go in my lads Everybody everybody, please Get 2% war score. We're gonna attack in North Africa. We're gonna attack in Sardinia We're gonna attack in over here and mm, I'm not gonna auto this one, but I'm just gonna hope this works out Just as I was having fun. I would be truly a shame if I couldn't play black ice anymore I would be so sad. I would have to go back to making guides for countries that I actually play and know how to play. And it doesn't take me two hours to find out how the UI works. I'm gonna join the war again. I'm gonna wait a bit. Is that why people wanted me to play Black Ice? Because the game crashes. I guess I'm not allowed to attack North Africa. Italy being successful is not part of the script, so the game just doesn't know what to do with it. It seemed that the game would crash any time we joined an ally in a war, so now we have to fight with the Axis against the allies without being in the Axis. And I don't know why I'm doing costumes in fucking summer and it's 30 degrees in here. You could not join the allies yet? Bro, you can't see anything here. I, I can tell that this guy has half orc, but like, I can barely tell that this guy has one third of his orc. I don't... I can tell that this guy is full orc, but like, this is so much easier in base game. I think prepared defense is probably the best one, but defense in death just sounds fun. <laughs> you get another 15, per 15 entrenchment in here. No! That's my Africa! Also, I did not order this. I did not order mill access. Who in their right mind sits down to play a game of black ice and is like, ooh, I'm in for some fun. You're not allowed to join any faction. You have to micromanage your ass away. And none of the things in Hearts of Iron that you know work. Because everything has been changed. This mod was not fun. But you know what I'd rather do? Eat fucking cat food. Now subscribe! Alright, I'm gonna pump out some more steel mills. I Jesus! Fly. I'm gonna pump out a few more steel... Oh, that's what you get. That's the fifth time... ...today. The fifth fucking time! Honestly, I'm really looking forward to winter when he... ...jumps on my lap instead of... Uh, on the table. Because with the table, it's just annoying. I don't have any space anymore. Alright, Hugo, can you please grind up a little bit more? I don't know how to play the game otherwise without cast and without tanks. I suppose I can stay in the Axis. I'm just not allowed to join any wars with them. No! <laughs> okay. I'm catching your drift, Mr. Hearts of Iron. I'm catching your drift. I am not allowed to have any friends. The true Hearts of Iron experience. What the fuck, Merlin? <laughs> Just jumped on my hand. I'm fine with the support company increasing the combat width. I'm not fine with the support company increasing the company the combat width and not saying that it does. This game I just it's just not fun. Like it, it's not even a ha ha ha. I'm I've been conquering the world for the past 20 hours. I'm losing my mind type of fun. No, it's genuinely just not fun. Hugo joins the Axis. Can I at least make a border? Of course I can't. Ah, he died. <laughs> for a second I was like, why did Wilhelm ascend the throne? But no, he just died as he should. What in the fuck? <laughs> this game is so cooked. I get one more iron from the UK 
And we just lost 280 iron. Not that it really matters because we're not producing anything anyway. We're funding the entirety of the British economy right now, but that's fine by me. I just need something to hold out against the Germans with. Because once the Germans are here, I think we are just gonna fall over. I don't see us holding anything here. Stop pushing into there, please. I'm trying to fall back right now. And I sure as hell would like to know how much all my divisions have. I guess I can use this tab. That's at least something you can read. I think I'm just gonna give up this front. No, brother, why did you walk down here? <laughs> Fuck you, I don't give a shit. You deserve to die. It's just a shame for all of the equipment that we lost. 17% war score? At least I can do that. That is, that is something I know how to do. Oh god, I just remembered that Vichy France exists. Yep, that was the thing that I what was a little bit haha <laughs> scared about. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, there was not Vichy France. That was, those were the colonies of Vichy France. There we go. America joins the allies. Japan just started wars with everyone. Don't tell me we have transport trucks and heavy transport tr trucks. We do. Of course we do. <laughs> I've just got a stack entrenchment. <laughs> If I can't have my flame tanks, then I'm gonna make my own flame tanks. Actually, is infection with German Reich. I'm just gonna pop it the dumb German. And then he's gonna give me all the knowledge about tanks and armor and World War II doctrines. I guess that's one way to require this focus. Wouldn't have been my preferred way to uh, showcase this, but I guess it's possible. The colonies of Vichy France joined the Axis. Again, extend the front line by one tile. And look at this, this already gave us so much industry. What? What? This is bullshit! Why did this suddenly flip to France? I I didn't even give you mill access, we're not in the same faction. Why the fuck does France own this crap now? We lost our entire front line, our, all of our entrenchment, our entire units. They lost all of their org, they're attritioning right now. What is this bullshit? What kind of rotten moron plays black ice? And now the Germans aren't pushing in here, so I can't make a proper border. It's actually very smart of those fucks. That's it? These are our historical ship designs. No, I'll have to design some ships myself. What the fuck is this? Why? So uh, if you ever want to build submarines in black ice, uh, just uh, copy this design, I guess. I hardly thought we can do anything he okay pushing worked we do have a little bit of cast here but the cast that we have here shouldn't really make that much of a difference that's pretty bad cast it looks like cast is still king even the, in this cursed whatever the fuck this mod is supposed to be i need falco for that okay where's falco ah there we go that's okay i need to get this one for this one instead of just drawing a line here i just have to know that the RE2000 multi-role unlocks the Reggiani RE2000 Falco. Can you tell that I like this mod? It is innovative. If I were working in HR, that is definitely what I would put on the resume of this mod. It is innovative. We, there we go. I've made a new circlement. I think I can stop playing this mod now. I can get one tank out right now, not even. Half a tank division. I really want to greet a bit more. Okay, there's a tank now. There's no way I can greet anymore. All right. Let's try and break through here. That's another four divisions that we could encircle. Nice. That's just gonna be what we'll have to do. How often are you gonna call the colonies of Vichy France into this war? God, those numbers are just so low. Come on, boys. I know you can do this. <sighs> just keep on pushing for the douche. Yes. There we go. All right, I'm gonna send these guys in here, in here. You pin, please. That's an encirclement, nice. All right, I'm gonna build some farms in Zara and then we can capture Zara. And I think I'm also fine with just pushing to bled. That way we can hold the river and all that. I obviously know what this means, but I'm just gonna translate it for you at home. Machine and pistol. The submachine gun model. Now, does that mean we need infantry submachine guns? Or does that mean we need something stupid here? Let's see. Haha, -ha, we need this stupid thing for our tanks. 
Bulgaria joins the Axis now. That's a bit late. It's 1943, my friend. All right, this is a little bit freaky, but man, it could be great. Okay, nobody's moving right now. Let's go. That's five divisions, FRFR. We are making progress. And that's number seven. No, never. Yep, yeah, yep, there we go. And he's back. Because the poor boy does not have any space to lie down in. Are you serious? <laughs> he just... He just ran away and he's back. I can't. That is certainly one way I can do this focus. The only requirement is that we have completed the focus, joined the Axis and that we are in a faction. We don't have to be in the Axis for this focus to work. There we go. 1943, 1944. I can finally get two tanks out. Unbelievable. Can we do something here now? I can't believe it. The tank said something. That's what you built. Two light tank divisions for. Okay, uh, Bulgaria and Romania are falling right now. France is almost freed. And we are slaughtering the rest of the Yugoslav population. Come on! It's back! Well, now we have a border with Hungary, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that. I'd rather be editing a TikTok video right about now. That's crazy. Oh, we're down to 11% war score. Romania capitulating. Um, That does open up... A nice little front for us though, if we can take Novi Sad, that might just be it for the Yugoslavs. Right, I'm also gonna see if we can push into... Cha -cha -cha -cha. Germany is falling and I haven't even capped Yugo. And I just can't capped Yugo! Alright, I'm just gonna do a full frontal offensive. I have Kass up down here, maybe they can push one or two tiles. I don't care about the... About uh, Austria and Hungary. We're gonna lose all of our stockpiles. We're gonna lose all of our manpower. But I just can't be arsed anymore. I at least want to take out Yugo. There we go. The one thing that I'm honestly looking forward to. Because this game is not like Hearts of Iron. Legitimately, this is not Hearts of Iron. So capitulating Yugo shouldn't have been a mistake. Although looking at the front lines, it probably was. No! I'm... <laughs> I'm going to try this one more time. And if the game crashes, I'm done. It's your last warning, Mr. Black Ice. If it were up to me, I would have stopped five hours ago. But no, the stupid YouTube funny man has to make some content. Because apparently Black Ice is funny. Cutting off my finger is also fun. Merely nine. Nine. I'll have to get AC just for him at some point. Just so he doesn't get this pissy. There we go. Full frontal offensive. Yuga has fallen. The Germans are getting confused and scared. And just take something. At least we'll have 10% war score if all of our guys die. I'm fucking done. If you enjoyed the suffering in this, please watch my A to C World Conquest series. In this one we played Albania and it was much more fun than this.